my YT channel, this is again my singer, Eternal Voice, your YouTube creator, and your social media influencer. Okay, so let's go back to <laughs> health risk assessment. As I promised, I need to discuss to this, okay? Like that. So yesterday, I've been discussing the, you know, the nitrosamines, the, you know, the carcinogens that can cause cancers. If we keep on eating uh, above 70 grams per day of, you know, this food, processed food, processed meat, like that, for example, the very, uh, exact example to this or you know the representation who rep which represents the other red meat is the bacon the ham the corned beef beef loaf hot dog sausage meatloaf uh chorizo or chorizo in cibuano right we have also the toseno the chicken okay the chicken nuggets the packed in the plastic you know, packaging, and uh, it could either be uh, a plastic or a battle packaging. So, battle is only seldom, right? But uh, specifically, plastic and cans, right? So these are all processed food, specifically the meat, right? And we kept on loving eating those, you know, stuffs because, you know, it satisfies our hunger stomach at all times. And we are really uh, loving to do that because since we are a kid and an adult or whatever, so we keep on eating that because, you know, our parents are buying it in the market and most of, of them also are not, uh, you know, expensive, affordable also, except for the bacon. Bacon is a little bit of expensive and something like that for, I think so, uh, for rich people usually, but for the middle class, class B, class C, class D of the society, it's not the preference to eat bacon all the time because, you know, it requires, uh, you know, a bigger budget for that. Okay, we will, re we will rely on the sausage, hot dogs, like that, meatloaf, a ham, but of course, the brands also will matter a lot. Okay, but you know, it's just the same story. You know, the level of nitrosamines as carcinogens can cause cancers. Specifically, if you eat that in excess amounts beyond 70, 70 grams per day, like that. Okay, so uh, yesterday I already uh, discussed to you the, the formulation or the chemical formula of nitrosamines, something like that. The specific chemical formula and the general chemical formula, how it behaves under certain uh, environment or acidic environment, basic env environment like that, okay, through heat or through air, something like that. So I uh, will discuss the complex, uh, you know, elementary reactions for that before it will become an amine, came from nitrates and then reduced to nitrites. And after that, you need to have to add nitrosating agents something like that, the nitrogenous compound family, then plus the amino group and H2, then bad then it will result to nitrosamine, something like that. Guys, this is not nitroamine, but nitrosamine. Why? Because of the nitrosating agent. Okay, you get the point? So it's not nitro, nitroating agent, it's nitrosating agent. I mean, there's S, N, I, T, R, O, S. That's when you attach this to the agent, or it will say nitrosamine, because the amine is added also there. Meaning, nitrosating agent plus the amino group. Something that specifically the NH2. One atom of nitrogen and two atoms of hydrogen. So, the specific formula also, we have two atoms of hydrogen, two atoms of nitrogen, and one atom of oxygen. So, if we try that to put in the general uh, formula, by means of organic chemistry functional group, you know, functional representation or structuring, there is the emphasis of <laughs> single band and double band. <laughs> the only difference between structural formula and chemical formula, in structural formula, you need to consider the orientation. You know, the, the placement, okay, of, uh, for example, para, uh, cis, like that, okay, in the organic chemistry. 
Okay, and the ISO also, and the counting, counting where it has been located. For example, if you say uh, omega-3 fatty acids, okay, actually there are a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. It could be the linoleic acid, oleic acid, you know, it depends where to count the carbon atoms or the carbon group. So, for example, if you have, for example, uh, uh, a steric acid, or oh, ano siya, duticanoic, duticanoic, one, five duticanoic acid, something like that. That's in the proper way of, you know, saying in organic chemistry, but if we, sh that's starting from the, the right, but starting to the left, the counting will be one, two, three, four, and you will start with the omega thing. Okay, omega one, omega two, omega three, omega four. That's why we have omega three fats and omega three fatty acids because the counting is in the left. If we structureize the chemical formula of those substances and food products, that we will say, oh, omega three fats, tuna, mackerel, salmon, like that, or what shall we say, olive oil, um, right? Canola oil. So which in omega-3 fats oh. so the the counting is in the left in the organic chemistry so three omega-3 one two three it's in the carbon atom number three if we start the counting in the left we have also omega-6 fatty acids omega-6 fats the counting also start from the left one two three four five six so it's in the carbon identification carbon atoms numbering because the point I don't have to illustrate because I blocked that already last two months ago regarding the functional different kinds of fun functional groups of you know organic uh, chemistry. But it it just happened that nitrosamines you know driven with the uh, preservatives nitrites. Okay, then we can say this is belong to the amino group. Actually, we have different functional groups. Amino group, okay. Carbonyl group, okay. Aldehyde. Ketone, ether, esters, carboxylic, hydroxyl, like that, and, um, and a whole lot more in organic chemistry. Then if you try to attach that during chemical reactions of organic compounds, one over the other, then you can attach something like that. Of course, we need to determine the polarity, something like that, or if it is really, uh, oh my gosh, it will uh, unite if the end point or the chain will be the, the, the end will be positive, will react to the negative, something like that. For example, the O will react normally to the H, something like that. We get the point. So the water or the H will, will act to the hydroxyl to the other, something like that. We get the point. So in that way, so there are a lot of substances that are ready that we can say that they are really uh, partly polar and partly nonpolar because of their behavior, because of the, you know, the polarity of the water also. The OH and H thing. Okay, something like that. You get the part, and we can say that those substances are either hydrophobic and hydrophilic. Something sad to say, cholesterol is hydrophobic. That's why we cannot dissolve easily the cholesterol level in everybody because that's belong to the lipid and fats family. Even though we drink too much of water, water is just a cleansing agent. Okay? Digestive agent, digestion agent. So it do something with the, you know, it will be dissolved or not. It will not really dissolve the fats. Though it will just push and flow, but it will never dissolve the concentrations of the cholesterol, the lipids, like whatever, or all types of like of proteins. Uh, I discussed a while ago. Going back to nitrosamines, that's how that would be mainly the foods and talking with the preservatives in which it will resolve or yield to uh, nitrosamine can cancerous carcinogens to food right preservatives now in the process need and i also say to you also for the pickles pickles p-i-c-k-l-e-s okay preservation so through bottle glass and you'll put the in the side the eba some i don't know what's the english of eba okay <laughs> then add water and pickles and also the the garnati or the balan bean, something like that, and put water. It's also because and also the cucumber, right? Put water and then put in the bottles and then preserve that inside the bottle. That would be the preservative. So preservation will be there for a longer shelf uh, life of the particular product. So that contains nitrosamines. 
all food products, processed food, manufactured foods that will stay longer for over a period long time, three months, six months, one year, like that, and you are referring that to the expiry date, that contains nitrosamines. Okay, because you know all of them have preservatives. Okay, no escape. Okay, because preservatives are very necessary also for uh, making it uh, good in color, good in appearance, not only for preserving also something. Like for the meat, usually curing, usually curing. Okay, for before, you know, you will put that inside a plastic pack or, you know, that kind of something like that. Give the point. That's the pickles for the processed meat food and other solid food substances that's sold in the market. But we need also to know also that uh, cigarette smoking have nitrosamine because nicotine. Nicotine, a lot of nitrogenous compounds also present there. Okay? Nicotine, that's why it's yellowish, something like that. Because more or less, the nitrogen are more yellowish in appearance, something like that. You got the point? So, nicotine and cigarette smoking. What else? In the beer. As you can see the beer, guys, when you look at it, there's a yellowish color, right? It happens just only the, the battle or dark brown. But then if you transfer that to a colorless container, could it be a plastic container and a glass bottle, you can really see obviously the yellowish color. So most of it contains the nitrosamine also. Okay? Beer, wine, whiskey, like that. So, okay, that's why also it's related also for men. Prostate cancer. So we need to say the prostate cancer is not also related only to for sexual intercourse with multiple partners or for the high level of testosterone, like that, then they kept on doing sexual intercourse and their testosterone level will be reduced. That can cause also cancer, right? Okay, the benign, prostatic, <laughs> so hyperplasia. Okay, benign, cancerous, but not active. Benign, BPH or non-malignant. Okay, get the point? So there are two types of cases of prostate cancer for men. Benign and malignant. The malignant are the cancer rules. Okay, cancer uh, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. But this, but this non-malignant are uh, is more painful compared to the cancer rules because chronic diseases are known to be uh, you don't have symptoms but you have it already. Uh, you know this is the main issue of chronic disease. That's why usually it will be discovered on your 60 years old, 50 years old, because nobody expects that to happen to you because you didn't feel anything when you're still young. But the point, unlike the acute diseases or the benign or the non-malignant cancers or other diseases, that you can usually feel the symptoms, something like that. You get the point? Okay, that's why chronic disease is, uh, you know, very dangerous and fatal. You get the point? Canon. Okay, so at much as possible, we can correct them in the earlier stage, prior to stage one, it would be better, right? Okay, so I don't have to mention the all types of cancers because I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not majoring doctor in medicine. This is only studying, research, reading, reading. Then since I love, I have the interests with the chemical reactions, then I found it, you know, interesting. Because once I covered the chemical reactions, then but then the next topic will be in the you know in the videos that I saw will be the you know the anatomy where these substances will strike. And after the anatomy, meaning parts by parts of our metal, it will also teach there the physiology, okay, meaning the behavior, the characteristic of the of these vital organs to be up with the chemicals. Okay, and the later also, we can troubleshoot the epidemiology because if too much substances will accumulate, for example, into your liver, it will form a disease known as, you know, non-fatty alcoholic diseases, okay, NF NFAD, meaning, you know, the, the fatty liver, NFAD and the FAD is the initial stage of liver inflammation. And then pardon, the next step will be the uh, malfunction of your liver. And then after that, you can develop the first stage of your cancer. And then body it will uh, develop more to liver cirrhosis. Okay? So the last will be liver cirrhosis. Of course, the tumor will be already there. 
in the liver inflammation. Okay, I know these things because you know my father died in liver cirrhosis, something like that. Okay, and he doesn't feel anything when, when he was 60 years old. And then after 62 years old, after two years, he feels so he felt a uh, down and weak like that, yellowish skin, and so on. So because if, if we speak about liver, guys, it has to do something with the HEPA. Some related talaga ang HEPA. Uh, I don't think so whether it is A, B. Related siya sa liver cirrhosis and liver damage. Okay? Normally, guys, pale, the, the skin, your skin will be pale. Okay? Discoloration. Like that. Mura bito ka kuan, guys. Um, hilaw na pagka something like that. Okay? And then, there will be a yellowish in your eyes. E bisaya pa, giawasan ng abdu, something like that. So that would be an indication that could either you have a liver damage or a hepatitis. Could either A, B, C, it talks about the liver but only the, you know, the precursor changes. Precursor meaning, could, there, could it be coming from the saliva? Could it be coming from the blood contact? Could it be coming from the salmon or the sexual intercourse? Okay? And then through that, there's a classification whether it is A, B, C. For example, HIPAA A for the food consumption. HIPAA B is for the saliva or, you know, the contact through the, for example, the sperm cell like that. HIPAA C, example only, because I'm not a doctor. What I'm trying to emphasize, there's a category for that HIPAA A, B, C. Through, you know, through contact of the blood, the sperm, and the saliva, and the food. Okay? I forgot to categorize kasi eh. But I'm sure there's a categorization. Okay? That's an indication that you develop a liver damage already. Ha! Magdilo-dilo yung mga panic or you, you develop a jaundice disease. Jaundice is the term for that. Okay? Jaundice. Okay, now going back to nitrosamine. Now we are fun of, or we are enough now for the food, for the cigarettes, for the pickles, for the beer, something like that, or any uh, liquid beverages, or hot beverages, right? Okay, so, alam, mo triggers, it could also trigger prostate cancer if we keep on drinking alcoholic beverages, right? Because alcoholic beverages have nitrosamines, right? Oh my gosh, aside from of other, you know, other causes. Okay, example, poor ejaculation, poor masturbation, multiple sexual partners, like that, whatever. So, uh, closely related to STI, sexually transmitted infections, closely related also to UTI. UTI meaning, uh, UTI not on the precursor of junk foods or salty foods, but on the precursor of sexual. There's also UTI in terms like that. Okay, and we have also the HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Syndrome or Human Virus, Human Immunovirus Syndrome, HIV. And we have also, if it comes to worse, to, comes to worse AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, is the last stage of, you know, a disease, a chronic disease, life-threatening, no solution for uh, too much sexual intercourse with multiple partners. You get the point? So you should control your sexual desires. Okay, because it's not good also to you know, future. You get the point? Ganon. So it's better, you, you what do you call this one? So, what do you call this one? Sexual, inter sexual orientation that has no interest in sex. I forgot that. Asexual. Okay, asexual is, are those people that don't love to have sex. Asexual. Pansexual, are persons that having multiple sexual intercourse to any gender, bakla, tumboy, lalaki, babay, including the animals. Okay, dogs, uh, you know, cats, that's pansexual. Okay, three, heterosexual are straight people, straight women, straight guys, hetero. Okay, homosexual can have sex both men and women, homo. Oh, it's not. A homosexual meaning to say sex with the same gender, okay, exclusively. Those are homosexuals. So girl, girl only. Boy, boy only. No two sex, no two genders. Bisexual is the last meaning. Uh, she can sex with girl or boy. He can sex with boy or girl. Something like that. So boy or girl, it doesn't matter. But they cannot sex with animals. Okay, you get the point. 
and include in the pansexuals also including the uh, using the the toys in their sexual desires. You get the point? They will they will put anything in their anal or their anus, in their vagina, something like that. That's also pansexual. Okay. Sometimes they will go sexual intercourse to the dog, to the cat. Uh, aside from the gender, multiple gender, whether adult, youth, child, whatever. Pansexuals. Asexuals, no attraction, no sexual attraction. Meaning pure, no sex at all since birth and until adult. Asexual. Okay? Get the points. So what are the types of sexual orientation? Asexual, pansexual, bisexual, homosexual, and heterosexuals. Okay? So if the questions will be like that. Okay? I think this is the coverage of biology. I think so. Biology. Okay? So that's gonna be like that. So for nitrosamines, we, we shifted now to drugs. Because you know, nitrosamines also can be found also in the drugs by manufacturing. Okay, manufacturing. For example, wine, like that, or medicines, pharmaceutical products, everything. Something like that. Okay? So one of the shock centers uh medical science. Okay, my pharmaceutical products, okay, syrup, uh, you know, we have uh, tablets, antibiotics, you know, uh, what else, um, what else, uh, capsule, okay, and then any forms of medicines, whether liquid or solid substances, okay, like that, it has a trace of nitrosamine, imagine, we are not aware, even though the multivitamins also, we take, because we need to add vitamin C, Okay, because that's drugs. Generally, kasi it drugs. Okay, meaning to say, atin na ng multivitamins and vitamins and food supplements also. Okay? So, now she trace. Though the level is just small, I'm saying and emphasize, there is at least a trace or level of nitrosamine, which is a carcinogenic substance or carcinogen organic compound. Okay, as what I researched last two days ago, it's also, the water also have traces, okay, but very, very small point something, point zero zero something like that, so and so, okay, and then for the water, food, of course, and for also for the dairy products, your dairy products, the milk, the cheese, the mayonnaise, so have also nitrosamines, because you, you preserve that also in the mall for how many years, take with the expiry, five years, one year, so how can it last without the preservative? Right? So there's no excuse. excuse. Automatic, there will be nitrosamine. Right? By common sense alone, even though we will not investigate through experimental analysis in the laboratory. By that alone uh, idea. Okay? Because preservative kasi eh. You get the point? Preserving the life of the food and drinks for how many years? Okay? So those are preservatives. When we speak also of preservatives, it's related to excipients. Excipient substance, wow. E X I E X C I P I N T S. These are all about uh, uh, coloring, flavor, coloring, flavoring, like that, preservations, like that, and anything, okay? Meaning addition only additives, like that. There, these are excipient substances that we need to add to change the appearance, the color, the texture, the smell. Okay, apart from the raw materials. So these are what we call in pharmacy as excipients. Okay, so I, when I look to the topic of pharmacy, guys, really we have a very rigid chemistry. More than, I think more than chemical engineers. Really, a lot of chemistry, guys. Maluluka ka. And I don't understand some of the complicated, you know, uh, chemical ingredients. Pharmacy, BS Pharmacy. Because I... I also read some pharmaceutical products in the YT. Oh my gosh, very difficult. We, we focus more on the organic compounds. And we, since we know organic compounds are very, very difficult in the structuring of the chemicals compared to the inorganic chemistry. Because you know, we have the you know, aliphatic compounds, the, the aromatic compounds that involve the benzene ring, with a polycyclic, and you have to draw that, blah, 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 so and so, and they put also the double band there, single so band there, and then blah, blah, blah. It's not easy to understand also, really, okay, for the organic, for organic compounds. Okay, you get the point? Ganon. Okay, nitrosamine through drugs, ha, guys, ha? So I need to explain that. Ang dami kong pasakali, right? Okay. 
explain na yung lakpo. Okay, ang tanihin mo. Char! So, nalo sa mean. Uh, okay. It's so tiny that I, I prioritize this first, guys. Because, you know, I also eat hot dog. Really? Uh, twice a month? Like that? Oh, really? And there's a nitrosamine, carcinogenic substance. At least I know. <laughs> I can control because normally uh, twice per month, like that. Maybe I can reduce to one time per month na lang. Siguro, no? Right? For hot dog. Nakakancho ka? Mabuang ko. Okay, so H2, N2, O. Specific formula. And then, this is for natural from food, beverage, whatever. Okay, then we have also the general formula. Like this, R1. Okay, R2. And then, single band, single band, nitrogen, double band, oxygen. And then, this is the okay, structural formula. And we can also make this simple as, you know, R1, R2, okay, like that. Okay, sorry, there's R2, nitrogen, because the amine, okay. This is what I told you. If you really understand, you can easily correct it, okay. So that's why I advise you not to memorize, okay. Like that, so R1, R2, and 2, O. So this is a general formula of nitrosamine. Okay? Like that. Okay. You get the point? So the, the philosophy here, fresh, fresh foods, okay, is better than, okay, preserved foods. Is better than preserved foods. Okay, processed food. Okay. For example, if you have nakihaw mo baboy, for example, right? And then you 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 buy the, the pork, the pork, the meat in the market. Then if you try to make that as a humba directly, you wash humba something like that, or you know what else, whatever you do for that uh, meat, then. That is okay compared to the, the meat inside the, the plastic pack. You get the point? Because it is freshly prepared. Okay, so there's no preservative. So zero, ang yung problema, amin na lang, in H2. But we know that this nitrosamine will not be produced without the nitrositing agent, katong mga nitrites, nitrates. So you are safe because the amin only is the present there. As I told you over and over again, all meats have amine in H2. One atom of nitrogen and two atoms of hydrogen, in which you cannot remove. Okay, so pakamatay kung di na ninyo ma-remove ang in H2 sa meat. So that's why if you add nitrites and nitrites, it will develop to nitrosamine, carcinogen or carcinogenic substances that can cause cancer. Again, specifically prostate cancer, breast cancer, and stool or bowel cancer. If it is beyond 70 grams per day, daily daily ala tool or beyond that. Okay. So let's check and investigate for the chicken. Right? Let's check. Because some, you know, some accommodations have have offered three times chicken in a day in their meals. How it will be that they're working for 12 years? in the company, 10 years worth company, and they keep on eating chicken for three times a day, what will happen at the age of 60 years old with these people? 60 years old. Because normally, as I told you, chronic disease will appear through aging. It is not on the spot. Okay? Maybe 60 years old, 65 years old, 70 years old, 80 years old, 50 years old. So that's the time these cancers will be developed. Okay? You got the point, long-term exposure. You got the point. So how can we check that one? Since there's no uh, laboratory that caters the, the leveling of this nitrosamine in that particular company. They are not focusing on the food, the analysis and test of the food. They are focusing on the test and analysis of the product they produce. Right? So how can that happens, okay? So meaning to say, the best solution is you need to check up by the doctor, 
okay, basing on your medical examination results because it's in there already. Or if you feel symptoms like the uh, reddish stool, mupuwa uh, yung reddish red stool or human waste when you, when you inside the toilet and there's a blood coming, so that could be also a sign that you have a cancer or the bowel or the stool. That's why, as you can remember, during physical examination, the doctor or the medical technologist will always check the stool. You remember now, stool, blood, and urine because of that issue. Okay? But of course, they will not tell everything to you about as you will ask. Right? Normally, if you will never ask, they will never answer. That's I uh, you know, that's normal situation. If you ask, you will be answered. If you will never ask, of course, they will never say anything also. Is that the point? But it's in the certificate of your medical results. Check that one by one. Okay? And scrutinize and examine. Oh my gosh, I have a very good cholesterol level. Something like that. Blood, uh, blood pressure, the lemon sugar, blood sugar level. Something you know, like that. Everything will be discussed, including the bilirubin protein. Huh? Bilirubin, bilirubin protein is very dangerous, guys. Okay, if the urine... If very, very yellowish, about 0.3 milligrams per liter, something like deciliter, parang, sorry. Okay, then it can cause also the liver damage. Imagine they're testing only the urine, but they will detect that the liver damage is, was damaged because of this kind of deadly protein, bilirubin protein. Okay, yellowish in color. When you go to the urine, check if there's uh, something, a yellowish powder that will come out in your urine powder small powder like that that could be a bilirubin a signal that your liver suffers already inflammation yeah, first kasi inflammation and after that develop a little bit of tumor something like that and after that cancer will be developing something like whatever stage one stage two stage three stage four and the last will be the liver cirrhosis okay you get the point then on and also not only that kidney kidney malfunction also okay like that and also the creatinine uh, creatinine is very important also when you check that in your urine be careful creatinine uh, bilirubin uric acid urea something like that including the nitrosamine this one and also the lactate level lactate okay you get the point but the doctor will never say to you so sir, so sir, this is your lactate level they will never expose that to you they will never disclose to, that to you because that is their testing only unless you will ask also, okay, because this lactic level chiba chuchu is not a, a simple, you know, a, a simple testing by the medical technology. This is not common, okay. This is not uh, usually asked by the normal patients, okay, unless you're studying or reading research like that, okay, that you will know the relevance of lactic level, okay, because lactic level is the basis how sick you are. Okay, if your lactic level is very low, chance is you are very weak and you get easily sick and you have the disease. But since we don't know how to test that one, because we don't have the device, right, in our room, in our home, but actually due to the lactic level, okay, that's one identification that a person has a disease, sickly, and already enjoying different types of illnesses. That's why we need to uh, add dextrose in your admittance to the hospital because dextrose have enough oxygen atoms in the formula okay six atoms of carbon 12 atoms of hydrogen and six atoms of oxygen that six atoms of oxygen will be enough to add the oxygen atoms lost by the lactate because the lactate formula have also oxygen atoms there normally they are enjoying the same commonalities carbon atoms hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms but if there's something wrong with the deficiency of the oxygen atoms then it can it can be recovered through dextrose okay and through having the oxygen cylinders that's also one of the purpose not only for the inhalation for the breathing also for the lactic level to stabilize for the patient in the hospital okay you get the point so all we have to do is to research and to love health science in conjunction to medical science, then your basis really is the basic chemistry. 
Why I say this to you? Because all people cannot live without substances. And substances really very, very, very significant to understand that chemistry of those substances. Sick, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, you got the point. So then one. So nitrosamines in drugs, cattle, guys. Okay. So let's say also medical science, doctor in medicine, all medical sciences courses have so many chemistry apart from the biology. Okay? We have also biochemistry. Okay? Like that. But for us, we don't have biochemistry, but we, we have biochemical engineering. But basically the same, but biochemical engineering more on the engineering application, on the, you know, for the technology, math application, statistics like that, you know, measurements. But, you know, biochemistry is highly theoretical, highly technical, more of the theories. Okay? That's why people can see with this, okay, medical terms of theories and principles, okay, with regards to biochemistry. We don't have that subject, we have only biochemical engineering. Basically the same, but advantage to biochemistry because highly theoretical, right? Okay? Okay. Ganon. So we have here, nitrosamines in drugs. Okay, nitrosamines in drugs. Okay. Drugs here is the legal drugs. Not the illegal drugs, okay? Let's be specific. Okay, drugs means legal drugs. Okay, you get the point? Because the illegal drugs are those shabu, okay, marijuana, like that rugby, or whatever. Okay, but legal drugs are the medicines we take, paracetamols, tablets, capsules, as I mentioned earlier, antibiotics. We have also the Something like that. These are legal drugs sold in the market. Okay? Approved by World Health Organization, uh, you know, Food Standards Agency, and the Department of Trade and Industry, if I'm not mistaken. DTI. Okay? They will regulate that one also. Okay? And, and for the health also, Public Health, Department of Health. OH. You approve that before circulating to the market. Okay. You need to check the patent. If it is really, you know, legal, like blah, 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 obeying certain international standards before releasing to the public. Something like that. You get the point? So to avoid smuggling. Something like meaning selling directly without passing to the right authority and agency with the government. This what what we call as smuggling, illegal activity. Okay, like that. So nitrosamine in drugs. So what are those? Okay. But before going that, uh, we will use the general formula, right? Okay. So first we have the two types. We have the nitroso. What? The N nitroso. Okay. Di methylamine okay methylamine 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 okay so okay no toki tatag sa tag sa investigate nitroso nitroso group okay dimethyl oh, dimethyl there are two methyl alkyl group okay methylamine so ime it could either be a, a hormone something like that okay with the point a hormone a protein and an amine. You have three choices if it ends in INE. For example, melanin, guanine, like that, right? There's a lot, guys. Dopamine, oh, like that. Uh, serotonin, uh, insulin, uh, yeah, gastrolin, like that. Mga hormones. So, basic sila sa tanan. Common. Even though hormone, even though, you know, the Protein, even though the amino acid, it will end normally with an E. Okay? As you can see in the packaging also. So there's a lot. So if you can remember, we have, I think we have 21, 21 amino acids. <laughs> Correct it from wrong. Is that 21 amino acids? I don't think so. Okay? Just review that also. I think 21, right? Oh, 21. Okay? 
like that. Okay. 21 ba? Check ko na po guys. But I'm sure there are essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. Wait. Tadala. So, sa mga mga ni Balan. Shall we enumerate that here? Okay. Uh, cytosin. Uh, guadine. Okay, like that. Um, so, basically guys, mag-ibog yun ko guys. Because you know, parihara mag ng ending. Okay, sa uh, hormone at saka sa ano, sa protein at sa amino acid. Really, there's a lot guys. Okay. Uh, lysine. Uh, isoleucine. Like that, there's a lot. Uh, guanadine, guanine, uh, keratin, okay? Uh, keratin, what else? Not gelatin. Gelatin is the product already, ha? Huh? Uh, we have uh, cartinen, L-cartinen, okay? Let's put it also, right? So, something like this. A lot, guys, okay? Lanolin, uh, di ba? Lanolin, something like So many! Like that. Okay, if that is our topic, we can... We can uh, Enumerate all, but this that this is not our topic. That is not our topic, right? So N nitro so dimethylene, caffeine is also an in in, right? So you understand this? Uh, di distinguish if the if the examination will say distinguish if it's known protein, uh, amino acid, and um, enzyme. Sugar, like ribo ka guys, because usually prepare ang N in N sa amino acid, sa hormone sa protein. Sa sugar, no problem, because usually OSE, like that, glucose, fructose, like that. But for this one, or the carbohydrates, right, like that, and the salts, it's easy also to distinguish ATE salts. So I hope there will be an examination like that, okay? Distinguish, fill in the blanks, like that. Salt, carbohydrates, nucleic acid, amino acid, protein, hor hormone, like that. You get the point? Okay, protein. And you will distinguish, right? Until 1,000 questions, right? So it will sharpen really the brain cells of our younger generations with regards to science. Okay, like that. To upgrade the knowledge of our younger generations. But I don't know if they are taking this. Uh, seriously, because they are not taking more on the you know computer games that, that has not to do something with science. Games, games, games. But the games will lead them to the disease, right? Due to the electromagnetic radiation produced by the screen. Okay, too much using cell phone 24 hours, like blah, blah blah blah, it can damage their vision. Okay, and then bad then brain damage through the radiation. Okay, again, electromagnetic radiation, not the nuclear radiation, ha? Okay, let's distinguish what radiation can cause the damage of the brain cells and the eyes of the vision. It's the electromagnetic radiation, not the nuclear. Nuclear is for radioactive substances, okay? N-O-R-M, the naturally occurring radioactive metals or norm. Like ito mga uh, radium, barium, like mga magandang siya, laurentium, in the last of the Lantanid series here. Okay? Iri uh, iridium, plutonium, like that. Okay? So this are nuclear. Itong undergo siya of mga alpha decay, alpha emission, beta emission, uh, x-rays, gamma rays. So these are nuclear radiation driven. Okay, but through cell phones using a laptop, it's not nuclear radiation. Electromagnetic radiation. Okay, we should be highly technical in distinguishing what type of radiation is that. Tamog patakag yaw yaw. Okay, ganon. We get the point. Anyhow, if you are not science-related professionals, you will just say only general term radiation. Because not all also know that there are two types of radiation. Right? The electromagnetic radiation and the nuclear radiation. Okay. That's the point. Ganon. In fact, the light of the fluorescent is already an electromagnetic radiation, but low level in frequency and amplitude. That's why we will never be getting disease. Okay, but if you try to expose our eyes in a very short distance, we keep on staring the fluorescent, then bad it will be through your eyes. But nobody will do that also. What I'm trying to emphasize, that's also releasing radiation. But it is a light ray radiation. Okay? 
So there are types of electromagnetic waves. I don't have to explain that one. Radio waves like that, sound waves like that. So I don't have to explain everything about that because I already discussed that last one month ago. Okay. Now we have the n dimethylene. Okay. And the second one this is uh, symbolized as uh, N G M A. Okay. Other books, other sources say N. Uh, M A only. They drop the letter D. Okay, it depends on the source of your reference you study. Huh? Your references, your sources, and then good, you have already your top knowledge, but of course you need to upgrade your knowledge. That's why you need to research and read. Right? Okay. Now we have the other type also. This is found in drugs, huh? Okay. And and nitrusu closely related. Nitrusu dye. Ethylamine. Okay. So this is gonna be N D E A. And some books also say N E A. Oh my gosh. Nitrous nitrous dietylamine. The, the clue here is ethyl. Methyl. Now let's review the alkyl group. Because this methyl and ethyl are alkyl group. So this is represented in organic chemistry as capital R. Right? Yes. R. When you mean R in, chem in organic chemistry, I see, you can see that in the packaging of the medicines, that represents alkyl group. Okay? Like that, okay? Sometimes you will see Rx, right? That means reaction in the, the packaging of the medicines. So in the bottle of the, the bottle syrup you buy, there's Rx. That's meaning reaction. Something like that, okay? Sometimes capital R meaning alkyl. Meaning methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, uh, uh, pentanyl, okay, octyl, nonanyl, okay. Mo follow kaya mo siya sa prefix kung ito do niyo. That's why I told you before, guys. Last, I think last year, we need to memorize comprehensively the prefixes because it's applicable in all the science and it, not only in math. Okay, but the point. Ganon. So alkyl group. Oh, mag start as a CH, CH four. Mm. CH4, then C2, C3, C4, C5. I emphasize only because it's related to, you know, methyl and methyl, right? Because nitrosamine have a chemical reaction that I need to discuss, right? So C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C12. It's okay. C12, lang takoto, guys, ha? Okay, now. You don't know the number of hydrogen atoms. What you will do for this? Okay, now you take the original formula in organic chemistry. So we have CnH2n plus 2. Okay, CnH2n minus 2. CnH2n lang siya. Okay, so in this, you can determine if it's a single bond, double bond, and triple bond. A single bond will be here. Normally, the oil and gas company, okay, we have the single band. Uh, for example, uh, Qatar, state of Qatar produces large deposits of methane gas or natural gas or the liquefied natural gas, LNG, okay. Basically, LNG and CO4 is just the same. LNG is just uh, the, the general term in terms of how they process that in terms of a phase, being liquefied. Okay. Meaning, from gas, they turn that into liquid. So, liquefied, okay, natural gas. Okay, natural gas is only the CH4. Okay, so if the examination in the science examination will say, blank is a natural gas. Your answer directly is CH4 without question. Now, blank is an LNG. So, liquefied, natural gas. You will never answer also natural gas because there's a letter L. Meaning, liquefied. Okay. LNG and LPG. Oh, you, you know how to distinguish this? Distinguish this two. LNG mainly only for the CH4. And CH2 up will be the LPG directly. Until, wala katapusan. Until C12. So that's the differentiation. That's the, this, we can distinguish between LNG and LPG. LPG is liquefied. Petroleum gas. Okay. 
So, petroleum is very general, ha? Petroleum is the raw material. Okay. Like that. It's the raw material. You get the point? So, coming from the, I think it's gonna be the crude oil. Something like that. And it, it, it can be, you know, it, be, it, it can be cracked by thermal cracking, like that catalytic cracking, uh, pyrolysis through burning in the furnace, or shall we say uh, fractionation. Fractionation then is a batower, then it will be uh, reduced from the heavy materials to, to fewer materials, and it will be segregated going up, going down. So normally going up will be the LPG because they have higher density compared to the LNG. Okay, the LNG will normally go down. So we need to say, in terms of operational cost, LNG have a less operational cost because the molecular weight is not very high. It will be normally on the ground. Okay, but this LPG, if you need to put that on the, you know, too much equipment to be used because it's very heavy in order for them to rise. Higher density compared to the CH4. The, you know, the identification will be in terms of their molecular weight. Okay? The higher the molecular weight, the higher its density. Okay? That's directly related with each other. Okay? So it's easy to process LNG than LPG because LNG has a lower molecular weight and it's very dense, meaning low density compared to the LPG. Or oh, if we go, it's going back here. Okay? So we need to use CAN, H2N plus 1. We have the two atoms here of carbon. Substitute the two because this subscript here are representing the number of atoms of your carbon. So, two, two times two plus two, it will become C2, four plus two, six, H6. So it will, this will become C2, H6. Um, and now, after getting that one, not necessarily will substitute the general formula. Follow the sequential pattern. Okay? Math, sequential ordering. Because it's consistent. Because if no need to put, because it won't take longer time to substitute, substitute, and here, I'm just giving you that this comes from the general formula. This is not magic where the formula is like this, automatic given by God. No, it's not. The people or the scientists doing this for us to help us make it easier to distinguish one chemicals, one chemical over the other. Okay, that's the point. So C two so three. Okay. Take note the difference is only two. Meaning you have to say H8, H10, H12. If you substitute that here in eight, it's just the same also. Okay? H14, H16, H18, H20, H22, and H24. So basically, okay, wait. Okay. The the do decay, the decay Vanisha, guys. Wait, yeah. No name, uh, decay, do decay. 12 atoms of carbon is do decay. Okay? The do decay, uh, what do you this one? The do decay organic compound have a very uh, large number of hydrogen atoms, 24 atoms of hydrogen. Okay? So as you go increasing the carbon atoms, the hydrogen atoms will also increase that much compared to your number of atoms. The reason, hydrogen is lighter than carbon. Okay? Uh, they can easily, you know, go there, go there, go there. Like, they can produce more because lighter. That's why hydrogen is the lightest element in the universe. Okay? Discovered by Henry Cavendish. Something like that. The point. It's gonna, it's gonna be like that. Now, take note what is the most common here. It's gonna be the CH4. Methane. Or the LNG. Used in, uh, you know, cooking like that. Okay? C2H6, the ethane. Okay? Precursor in making ethyl alcohol. Okay? That we drink for the antiseptic for killing the microorganisms and bacteria. Or as a component in the beer, wine, like that. There's an ethyl alcohol there. Okay. Common. Propane. Butane. These are all now LPG. Liquefied petroleum gas. What happened to the C5H12? Nobody dares to process this because already needs a lot of, you know, towers or plates in your fractionating tower. Okay. The more you have so many carbon atoms, 
the more you will add the number of stages and the number of plates in your unit. In chemical engineering, we call this unit. That's why we have unit operations, meaning it refers to the equipment, process equipment. Okay, so it will become having so many plates, trays or sheaves, S-I-E-V-E-S. It's just basically the same with number of trays, number of sheets, number of plates, number of stages. Okay, di ba chemical engineering, chemical engineers, number of sheaves, number of trays, number of stages, number of plates. It's just the same, right? You compute that normally, you can compute that in the... Uh, liquid liquid extraction, ternary extraction, or it could either be in distillation, right? Fractional distillation, because we are referring to fractionation power, right? But in here, we are undergoing burning, okay, or pyrolysis, could either be thermal cracking or you know, catalytic cracking. Catalytic cracking by means of a catalyst. We, you, you add catalyst to crack this larger petroleum to produce byproducts of another fuels, petroleum, blah, blah, so and so. And it will produce another, you know, what do you call this one? Petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are chemicals derived or driven by petroleum. Okay, that's the definition of petrochemical. It's very easy to understand because the petro is petroleum. And the chemical, you are only add in English. So petrochemical, and you put a statement definition, you say, Okay, petrochemicals are chemicals, okay, are chemicals driven or were drive by this petroleum. The petroleum is your raw material, and you just break that all throughout by different physical chemical separation processes through different unit, you know, equipment and process units or process equipment like that. So that's basically unit operations, right? Okay, now we have uh, another common. CAH18 is the octane family. Octane family is responsible for, you know, running your uh, cars. Okay? This is gasoline. Whether it is needed gasoline or unneeded gasoline. Okay? Because you have to put lead to, you know, to complete the mixture for the proportion so that you have a quality gasoline. So always need have that. Then if you are concerned with the environment, so it should be lead free. Because lead also are carcinogenic into the atmosphere. That's why we need to remove the lead. Okay? And it is expensive compared to the lead gasoline. When we made of gasoline, the lead is already there. It doesn't mean the lead is removed there. But if you say unleaded gasoline, meaning the lead has been removed in the process. Okay? English. Right? Okay, so gasoline, octane family, so it needs only 8 atoms of carbon to run your car. Okay, it, not, it doesn't need 9 atoms, it doesn't need 3 atoms more. If you, if you force this one, there's something wrong with your internal combustion engine or inside the hood of your car. Because the technical specification really by science is really eight atoms of carbon octane only to run your car or whatever <laughs> equipment you have something like that or vehicle you get the point so this is the power of petroleum and oil and gas industry i'm just you know linking this in my discussion because we are also dealing with the methylamine ethyl emissors and ethyl there and we fill there there okay so i want to erase that Okay, so now haloka. The number of organic chemistry, guys. Okay, I remember when I was in third year, really, pasok ko sa dance lister because at that time, wala pa kaming computation, mga theory theory, and then I can easily manage also the chemical calculations and the stoichiometry. Not not really that difficult for me, ha. Then when I reach fourth year, something like second semester, right? I starting to go down in the in the you know in the top ten something like that slowing down slowing down you know. until when I graduate I did not become a graduate with honors okay because because of that reason you know a lot of problem solving na talaga siya in which you can understand. you can understand but it needs really analytical you know analytical skills that only few can you know can manage it doesn't I cannot manage but you know as I told you I'm not really that good in math. 
di ba naging honest ako sa inyo I'm not really good in math but I can but I can be average or a little above above average if I must have too much efforts okay because my favorite subjects are English and science okay it's gonna be like that so dito ko ni slow down until third ah uh, until ano ako until fourth year first year first semester yeah dito ako kung tukak ng dance less but the rest wala talo okay Okay, but you know, the business is not the target. The target only is to pass the grade because you will maintain your academic scholarship, government academic scholarship. And then if you will fail, you will no longer enjoy that one. Okay, that's the main objective. Not really to become the top or whatever. Okay, we shout out to engineer to meet you, Idulantes. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna be like that. Then, uh, if you are now younger, younger, <laughs> in the first year college, please have that mentality nga, bigjid mo magpalupi, something like, hello ka maapsan, it's natural guys, that's part of being competitive academically, okay, to be honest. But you do not say that to your kapwa classmates, you should only put that in your mind. Of course, you will be, somebody will tell you that you are arrogant, somebody will tell you that you are humble, right? Somebody will, will tell you that you are boastful. Just have that in your mind na, di siyong kumagpalupin. Ganon! And then tingnan mo, labaw siyong ko, blah, 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 so and so. So having that kind of mentality, so there's a greater chance that you can get your licensure, you know, card in the future. Because you have a very high target and a very high aim. Ganon! And then as much as possible, shout out sa akong mga classmates. Uy, sorry guys, because this is me talaga eh, okay? Forgive me. Okay, then you will say also, Uh, before uh, taking the words image, you'll say, I will become the top. Ganon! Top 10. Oh. So that it will be your motivation and inspiration to to pass, not to fail. Because you have a high, high aim. A-I-M. And then, a positive thinker. Oh. Diba? Ganon! So, ganon lang. Always consider very easy. Okay, though you heard the alak na very difficult, something like that. Just, uh, uh, You drama drama na kayo yourself na just uh, very easy. And if you love it in that way, then positive design will be there and then you succeed. Something like that. Ayaw mo pada ako sa mga so, studia na. So, kayo out of uh, 10 who took the exam only one pass. No, it's not. Let's see what happens if I will be there. Ganon! Okay, get the point. So, and I through so die in the Okay. Okay, guys. Any questions so far? Mga falangga, kung hitag. <laughs> I'm thinking, <Kuro> is not. <laughs> no, <I don't> know. <coughs> Energized. Okay. Now, if you see dimethyl, so methyl will be your R. So, what is the formula of methyl? CH4. Ethyl, C2H6, right? Then, one hydrogen of this will be an attachment to the chemical reaction. So, it will become now CH3. It will become now C2H5. Now, if you have the general formula of the nitrogen, Since I told you, N, the will burn oxygen. So, you, we, you now CH3 because the other H will react to the nitrogen. So, CH3, then CH3. Mm. Then for the diethylamine, same story, N, O. So, it will become now C2H5 na lang and C2H2 because the other H, one proton, will be attached to the nitrogen proton. They will react, right? So this is the formula, structural formula of your n nitruso dimethylamine, and this is your formula of C2H5, no, H5, for your nitruso dimethylamine. Okay? We need to identify this in your risk assessment, in your drugs health risk assessment. Okay? In the different drug stores or pharmacies all over the world. Before selling that to the people, you need to conduct risk assessment, the carcinogenity and the mutagenity of your pharmaceutical products, medicines, antibiotics, tablets, capsules, syrups, or anything that you'll be able to sell that to the people. Because if you just easily sell that to the people, then there will be side effects for them and they will be get sick. And the pharmacist will be blamed, or the drugstore will be blamed, right? 
So to regulate that one, doon pa lang sa manufacturers before having the patent of each product, license authority to make it uh, distributed all over the world, that's we call patent. Okay? Then, it's there that we will conduct the risk assessment. Okay. Still, the OSH engineer will be there, but I think the safety engineer there is more related to medical science. For example, graduate of nursing, graduate of medical technology, graduate of, you know, uh, you know OT, occupational therapy, graduate of PT, physical therapy, but they are acting as an OSH professional because these are related to drugs health risk assessment. There's also the other engineers there, but I'm talking they are the priority or the preferred ones, something like that. Okay, because <laughs> all positions are free for everybody as long as you know how to do it, you know how to perform, and you have the knowledge, then it doesn't matter anymore the profession. But I'm talking only for the preferred and advantage professionals for that certain position. Right? Okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, because I have also safety officer before. We have Safety officer before who is a licensed nurse. Safety officer. Okay? Like that. So it doesn't matter. We have also teacher, licensed teacher who became a safety officer. When I was in Abu Dhabi, things like this. And I have also physical therapy also. Though it lang siya, undergraduate physical therapy, but he proceeded to safety officer. Okay, something like that. So it doesn't matter as long as you have the address, like that, you like it, you love it. Something you got the point. And you have the skills, experience, the knowledge, and the talent to do that. Okay? And the desire and the confidence to do that. Okay? Anaraman siya. Okay. Now, nanakay mga formula, ibigay yun na. Okay. Now, dili pa tayo magsubod. Tapos yung akong introduction, guys, no? Nakakaloka. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys, I have to cut off this other mobile phone. Too long na talaga siya. Okay, I need to... But for my FB live streaming, I'll still come back. Okay. Guys, sorry because I still have no work tomorrow. Okay? 